My name is Alan Hutchings, and um, I live here in Mill Valley, California. The reason that I decided to help with this event is that I'm also involved in the recovery community here in Marin County, um, helping alcoholics and addicts to get sober. So I had mountain biked before I became addicted um, and before my uh, alcoholism and disease kind of took me away from the things that I loved. I was addicted to uh, pain medication for uh, on and off for 10 years. Um, and in 2018, um, had a severe back injury due to work um, and had basically burned down my life. I, I tried to overdose on pills, it didn't work. Um, ended up crashing my truck uh, intentionally and survived. Um, and was taken to a mental institution. And um, that was my bottom. And um, when I got out of the hospital, um, you know, I took it upon myself to do everything I could uh, for my recovery and whatever it took to, um, to get well. I was still recovering from injuries. I had all kinds of uh, physical pain that I thought I needed medications for, and it was suggested to me to start to exercise, to eat well, um, and to take care of myself. And so one of the things I did was I got that, got that mountain bike out that I hadn't ridden in over a year. Yeah, I mean, I just found that biking was one of the only places where my mind could go quiet and where I could stay present and not think about all of the wreckage and the suicide attempt and the addiction and drugs and alcohol. Initially, it just started with after the meeting, you, we'd get a group of guys together and, and, and people, I would ask people, hey, do you have a bike? Or people would come up to me and say, hey, you're the mountain bike guy. And I would say, yeah, that's me, come with us. And uh, so it started very unofficial um, and, uh, and we would take people out and uh, not only, you know, we'd, we'd be out there biking, but, you know, these new people who were freshly getting sober, who didn't believe that there was a life outside of drinking and using, uh, were exposed to a lifestyle of, uh, of, of biking in the community. Newcomers, when they come in, including myself, are full of fear and anxiety, trepidation. They're in their heads. They're thinking, thinking, thinking. They don't really make eye contact. They don't really talk. And you could see it in their eyes. Fear, anxiety, um, shame consumed person to the person who's out on the trail, who has a lighter look in their face, who's smiling, who's laughing, who's having fun is like a very rapid transformation that I see during the time when they're out with us on the bikes and on their rides. They find this happiness and this freedom and this joy that they were seeking from drugs and alcohol and they find it in the sport of mountain biking. And that's what I found as well. Hope to see you guys at the Bike and Hike for Buckaloo event on May 11th. Um, I'll be out there leading the groups. It's a place I used to ride. If uh, anything I said resonated with you, please come join us. Uh, it's a fundraising event. Uh, Buckaloo programs help the North Bay on all kinds of levels for recovery, for mental health, for suicide prevention, and for addiction. So if this is a cause you'd like to support and just come out and have a good time, please come join us.